Coming up, dissecting vax stats and naturally acquired immunity to COVID-19. Welcome to the very first episode of Just Facts News. Through this newscast, we will bring you thoroughly vetted facts that other broadcasts have ignored or distorted. If you've been watching the news as of late, in all likelihood, you have been hearing statistics like this. We had nearly 10,000 people die of COVID in this most recent month that we completed in June. How preventable were each one of those deaths? And how many of them were unvaccinated? Well, if you look at the number of, of deaths, about 99.2% of them are unvaccinated. About 0.8% are vaccinated. Uh, no vaccine is perfect. Uh, but when you talk about the avoidability of hospitalization and deaths, Chuck, it's really sad and tragic that most all of these are avoidable and preventable. Before believing any statistic, particularly one with life or death implications, it is vital to understand how that statistic was created. This particular one comes from the Associated Press, who reported certain caveats about this statistic that NBC News and Fauci did not. First of all, the underlying data for it comes from the CDC, who had not published such a statistic because of, quote, limitations in the data. What are those limitations? In the words of the Associated Press, five states don't even report the number of fully vaccinated people who have died from COVID-19. And among those who do report it, many of them are not as aggressive in finding these cases as other states. Finding cases doesn't mean they have a comprehensive reporting system to capture all such cases. Therefore, the Associated Press admits that the data probably understates the number of fully vaccinated people who have died of COVID-19. This is a textbook case of how phony stats are born and proliferate. The data doesn't actually show how many unvaccinated people have died of COVID-19. What the Associated Press did is take an incomplete count of those who have died and been vaccinated and assumed counterfactually that everyone else must have been unvaccinated. Then Dr. Fauci repeated that phony stat without mentioning any of the caveats that undergird it. And the NBC News gave him a platform to do so. However, the CDC is crystal clear that this data is incomplete because it relies on passive and voluntary reporting. Another profoundly misleading aspect of that statistic is that it lumps all unvaccinated people into a single group when there is an important distinction between them. People who have caught COVID-19 before have an extremely high level of immunity to it, whether or not they are vaccinated. The European Journal of Clinical Investigation looked at everyone who caught COVID-19 in Austria during the first wave of the pandemic and found that not one of them died from COVID-19 in the second wave. Moreover, it found that these people who had previously had the disease had a degree of immunity to it comparable to the highest estimates of vaccine efficacies. Even more papers with similar results have been pre-printed and are winding their way through the peer review pipeline. Thus, it is extremely deceitful to lump all unvaccinated people into a single group under this statistic and then start demanding that everyone, including those who have previously had COVID-19, become vaccinated or be threatened with being ostracized. That's it for this episode, but tune in next time when we will dissect another dubious vac stat. In contrast, this one understates the benefits of the COVID-19 vaccines.